All right, welcome back to our breaking news coverage. For those of you who just joined, joined us, about 4.30 in the morning in Tel Aviv, Israel, where the first wave of the Iranian attack of a couple of hundred suicide drones, cruise missiles, ballistic missiles, uh, so far has spared the Israeli infrastructure. That means their major power grids, uh, any kind of major uh, ports, airports, and the like uh, in Israel. And now we wait to see uh, on a second wave of attacks, potentially from Iran, and then also what an Israeli response would look like. The video over Jerusalem especially has been extraordinarily impressive of the Israeli Iron Dome uh, and their multi-tiered defense system bringing down the incoming rockets, uh, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles, along with drones, from Iran. Natasha Zuvest is with us uh, to break down that, that multi-tiered system uh, that over the past two or three hours has saved hundreds, if not thousands, of Israeli lives. Hi, Natasha. Yeah, it seems to be working uh, as hoped. Leland, we're closely tracking this, and you just played some of that latest video that is coming into our newsroom right now. We're hearing the air raid sirens, uh, followed by video showing incoming missiles. The IDF air system very much activated tonight. Now, the U.S. military says it has also shot down some of the drones. But let's talk about this multi-tier defense that Israel has to protect it tonight. Of course, the Iron Dome is the most well-known of Israel's air defenses. And part of what makes it so special is the technology is meant to detect short range rockets with stunning accuracy and efficiency. Some Americans, though, may not be as familiar with David Sling and also Aero 2, Aero 3, designed specifically with an eye towards Iran. So let's break all of this down. First, the Iron Dome. Since it was activated in 2011, it has intercepted literally thousands of rockets. It uses radars to detect incoming short range rockets. The system then detects determines whether it is targeting headed towards a populated area, and if so, it launches its own missile to intercept and destroy. Now, according to its manufacturer, the radar is effective over distances of two and a half to 43 miles about, but the Iron Dome is just part of this multi-tiered system. Let's come back out here, take a look at this. David Sling, this became operational in 2017, specifically meant to counter medium range missiles utilized by Iran-backed Hezbollah, most of the time, militants in Lebanon. Now, this can destroy and detect ballistic and cruise missiles as well as drones. It's reported range closer to 124 miles about, which covers Gaza as well as southern Lebanon. Now, then there is the so-called arrow weapon system, which covers long range ballistic missiles. What you've been hearing a lot about tonight comprised of arrow two and arrow three. Now, this system was designed with Iran specifically in mind, and it reportedly can intercept missiles from about 1500 miles away and can even do this above the Earth's atmosphere. Now, in terms of the very latest Leland, I do want to mention this month, the Israeli military announcing the so-called Sea Dome. It is a mobile maritime version of the Iron Dome. And the IDF also reportedly testing the so-called Iron Beam. That would use lasers to target projectiles fired at close range with pinpoint accuracy, though that may not be operational until 2025. Leland. Yeah, and then there's the U.S. air defenses in Jordan Certainly. Uh, and Saudi Arabia, Patriots, as well as uh, some short-range stuff that evidently was quite uh, effective as well. Natasha, thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.